Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another grocery haul. Thank you for clicking on to my grocery haul. I think I'm going to slip my glasses off because I can see the ring light in the lens. But anyway, aside from that, thank you for clicking on. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that from whatever I do here, you can take some ideas away with you. So to talk about this week's grocery haul, again, for the rest of the month of May, you're gonna be seeing small grocery hauls because I am trying to use up the things that I have in my home. There is so much, there is an overflow of so much and I do not like to throw food away. So I am going to be sticking with eating at home, I promise myself I'm not gonna go grocery shopping and then go through a drive-through or go to a restaurant. Everything is gonna come from meals inside of what I already have. So again, the hauls are going to be small, um, $100 or less. Even though my daughter is home now, $100 or less should cover it. It looks like this week I need to, I need to concentrate on produce, lots of fruit. Fruit is getting better now. So I want to concentrate on my fruits, vegetables, whole foods, uh, things like that. Nutritious meals, um, meal ideas. So I'm going to be going through what I have and I'm going to be filling in. I know this haul is going, like I said, is going to have a lot of fruit in it because right now, as you can see, I am down to only a few little tangerines or clementines in the bowl. And I like to keep my fruit bowl pretty stocked. I even like to have fruit in the bowl and spilling out of the bowl on the counter. Don't have to, but I like, to, I like that look. But anyway, I think I'm going to do that, and then I think the places I'm going to go to are Harris Teeter and probably Lidl, because those two places I can get my best price on produce. Harris Teeter normally has a, has a good sale or clearance on their produce, and Lidl has just a good standard price. So there may be other places, but I know those two places. I am going to go to. So stay tuned, keep watching, and everything is going to be loaded up over here or on my table. See you soon. Here is what I picked up in my grocery. This is actually a different day. So that $100 that I tried to stick to quickly changed into $138.86 for everything you see here. So in between me doing the intro and me going to the grocery store, I had some additional requests from my husband, my son, and my daughter. And so I think I still did pretty well with all you see here for $138.86. Two places ended up being five places. So I went to Lidl and you can see that I had to do two trips, um, but I got to the car with my first order and I remember I needed to pick up some other things, so I went back in and the total came up to be $28.76. And then Harris Teeter was $35.93. Giant, $29.52. 
Dollar Tree, $7.70, and Food Lion, $36.95. So I think I got some pretty good prices at each place. Let's start right here with Lidl. At Lidl, I picked up the sub rolls, and you're going to see a lot of what I have in my order this week inside of my menu. So one of the things I'm planning to make is cheesesteak hoagies one night and fries. So I had to pick up the rolls, my standard apples for my students every week, $1.99. The sub rolls were $2.39. I picked up an English cucumber, $0.98. Cents. The heavy whipping cream was uh, two dollars in change because they had it had this thirty percent off discount. Uh, the salmon was seven dollars and six cents because it had the thirty cent thirty percent off. The biscuits ended up being like ninety five cents because of that discount. I also picked up bananas. These two were twenty nine cents. I picked up cheese one block of pepper jack and one block of sharp cheddar. These were on sale for $1.77 a piece. I picked up the grape tomatoes. This whole container was just $1.29. Strawberries this week at Lidl were two for $4. So I picked up one, no, not two for $4, $1.99. The lemons were 59 cents each. I also picked up, they had a deal, which was, this was probably the best deal in the haul. 75 square foot of Reynolds wrap for $1.99. That's an amazing price for that. So I picked that up. And then the last thing in the haul I got from Lido are these sweet peppers. They were $1.99. That's everything from Lido for $28.76. That's pretty good when you consider having salmon and heavy whipping cream in the order. All right, moving right along to Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter had some great prices too. Let's start back here with the Turkey Hill Lemonade Strawberry Kiwi. So I ended up picking up two because everybody in the family loves it. It is, it was $2.79 a piece and the count is pretty good. Not amazing, but okay. Um, if you just want a quick refreshing drink, Eight ounces is 110 calories, but of course, most of that is carbs and sugar, but still good regardless. Let's move on down to the baking uh, Thousand Island Chop Kit. This right here was not on any kind of sale, but this is my favorite salad kit of all times. This was $4.29, so I picked that up. That'll probably be my lunch today. I also saw this on a good deal. My husband likes these kind of things. This is the beef and bacon twisters. So it's beef um, steak in there and wrapped with bacon. And so, and it's already seasoned. So this was $8.99, marked down $4. So $5 for this kit, which I think is really, really good. Uh, a good price. Moving up here to the potato chips. We have lots of different type dips going on in the house. And so including veggies. Sometimes you just want some chips to go with some French onion dip. And so I bought the plain uh, Harris Teeter chips for $2.50. I bought these for my son and my daughter. I bought her the shrimp mac and cheese bowl and my son the chicken Alfredo bowl. These were two for $5, which is a good price. This was an amazing price at Harris Teeter. Uh, this pork loin was buy one, get one free. It was $9.99, and then um, the uh, price was marked down to, uh, let's say, $4.50 or $4.49 because it was, um, or oh, $4.99, I'm sorry. And then an extra $2 out of, off of that made this whole thing $2.99, which is amazing. And this is the, what kind is this? This is the slow roasted golden rotisserie flavor, so perfect. Um, you'll see that in my menu as well. Also at Harris Teeter, they had a good price on cheeses. This American cheese was $1.74, and then their cheeses were also buy one, get one free. So I picked up a Parmesan, and I picked up a thick cheddar jack. I like both of these kinds. 
these were a dollar seventy four cents a piece. And then the bacon was requested by my son. He wants to start taking some um, sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches with him, like pre-make some breakfast sandwiches and take with him each day before he goes to work because he's been eating out and is truly expensive now. So this whole big pack of boar's head extra thick cut bacon was on sale too for ten dollars so this nice pack was five dollars they should make this should make a really good sandwich and i'm gonna when i make the sandwich it's going to be the biscuits right here the bacon and then cheese and then eggs okay that should be pretty good all right moving now on over to let's go to food lion at Food Lion, I picked up these items. I spent, again, at Food Lion $36.96. Not a whole lot here, but some really, really good prices. First of all, we have these, this pack of nice boneless and skinless chicken thighs for $2.69. That's going to be in the menu. We have chicken burgers for $1.79. You get four of them in there. And you also get four turkey burgers organic turkey burgers for $2.39. That's amazing. This was, um, these are all going to be in my haul. I mean, I'm sorry, not my haul, my meal plan for this week or my menu. And then for my daughter, I picked up these honey barbecue salmon burgers. These were not on sale. Um, they were $6.49, but like she and I both said, you get two in there. And if we were to buy these at a restaurant, easily one would be the six dollars and 49 cents and then when you pair it in a platter it would probably be well over ten dollars for a salmon burger so she said she's going to have these for lunch or dinner today then for my husband i picked up this markdown new york strip steaks he's going to put this on the trigger today and um it was originally 12.23 and now it is 7.34 so that's a nice meal between today or tomorrow also at Food Lion, they had blueberries marked two for four dollars, so this was two dollars. I had a taste for watermelon, and at this time of year, I really don't buy whole watermelon because I don't know what it looks like inside. So I only buy cut, and this still doesn't look like it could be the best, but it's going to be good enough for right now considering the season. Two dollars and nineteen cents for three slices. I thought that was pretty good, and then this was the drama in the menu, I mean, in the hall. So I was on the chip aisle and I just could not decide between these two. This has quickly become my favorite, one of my favorite popcorn. This is new, the nacho cheese Doritos flavored popcorn. But this is my old popcorn, the OG of my popcorn flavors, the hot cheese popcorn. Both of them are equally good. Both of them are the same price. However, this one was on sale for $3.50 today, but this one was just so, it's just so good. So I couldn't decide. I got both of them. And this, instead of pretzels next week, I'll take popcorn in my lunch. That's everything from Food Lion. Let's move on around now to where are we going? Let's go to Giant. This is everything from Giant starting, let's start with the mushrooms. They had mushrooms reduced to $1.99, this whole big nice pack. We'll wash and cook these up today. We love mushrooms in a lot of different things. We love bowls, so we love dropping those in. Then we needed more spinach. This is baby spinach. It was marked down to $2.49. We tend to eat the spinach and the mushrooms together. Then we also had um, this on clearance, uh, the artichoke hearts. We're thinking about doing maybe, especially with the spinach, we're going to do some spinach artichoke dip or spinach artichoke pizza. That was on clearance for $1.49. The pizza sauce was on clearance for $1.49. I bought another cruet. If you saw my last haul, I bought one of these. And um, I just thought it was an amazing price. They still had some left. This was $1.10. And you have all of those things inside right there to make 
your dressing. And then, like I said, it's glass, it's reusable, so that will be awesome. Then they had this rice, rice aroni. This is on clearance for 87 cents a piece. And so I picked up garlic and olive or rice, two of those, and I picked up two of the herb and butter rice. 82 cents is an amazing price. Also amazing, they had this Mahatma long grain and wild rice mix. Last week I picked up the yellow rice. They were 69 cents a piece, so I picked up the wild rice this week. This was uh, nice and interesting, the Popperdell. Uh, noodles, egg noodles. I love these, but I never really see them in the strips. I always see them like in the nest. And so this was on clearance for $2.49. That should make a fun meal. Next, we had on clearance or on sale these Kool-Aid jammers. They were $2.49. Earlier in the week or earlier before this haul, um, my daughter made a board, like a Greek board, and she needed lemon, she needed feta, she needed more cucumber, and some other things that I've already used in the haul um, that you don't see here that makes up the price, but we've already used it because of that board. I'll insert a picture or a clip here of the board she made. It was it just words could not explain how good it was, but I picked up a lemon, I picked up feta cheese, that was all in that haul. I also picked up these pastas, they're interesting. My daughter really said, ew, but anyway, I'm going to eat them. They were on sale for 82 cents, marked down from like $3 and change. You'll see these in my um, menu as well. This is the red lentil and carrot penne pasta, that's what it looks like. We have the green pea and quinoa rotini pasta. We have yellow lentil and caceres pasta. All right, that's the noodle. It looks like that. And so we're going to enjoy these. And then the last thing in the haul we have that I picked up for my students. This is the Cap and Crunch Cinnamon Crunch. It looks yummy. I love regular Cap and Crunch. I don't eat it anymore, but I used to eat it all the time in a previous life, not even a previous life, in my previous youth. I used to eat Cap and Crunch, but I don't eat it now. So I picked this up for my students for $1.50. So yes, everyone, this is everything I got for $138 and 86 cents and oh i did not do dollar tree let's go right here to dollar tree real quick i just picked up these uh items these six items three uh ground black pepper one garlic and two empty bottles i did really well i hope this gives you some ideas of how to shop what you might think what you might want to include inside of your grocery haul when you go shopping. I always go after the reduced items and I try to include those items in my menu during that specific week. Everyone stay tuned for a meal from the haul and also my meal plan. Here is the meal we're having from the items in the haul. This is the bacon Thousand Island salad. It is so, so delicious. At the beginning, you saw a little clip of me putting it together. To the side, my daughter had made some leftover um, or had made some tuna and it was left over. So I decided to have two tuna crackers. And then this is the pepper jack cheese. That on some crackers. And then the tomatoes, the grape tomatoes. This is topped with olive oil, dill, garlic, and Parmesan cheese, and it is an amazing snack that I like to have at work or at dinner or at breakfast. It is just a, an amazing, delicious side. And then last, some blueberries to add some antioxidants in there and to add a little bit, bit of sweetness. And so, yes, everyone, this is everything we're having for dinner.
Keep watching for our menu. Here is our menu for the week. On Monday, we're gonna have turkey burgers and roasted potatoes with white sauce. On Tuesday, fish or shrimp tacos. On Wednesday, cheesesteak hoagies and fries plus cucumbers and dip. Thursday, breakfast for dinner. I'm thinking, of course, hash browns, bacon, eggs, of course, maybe waffles or pancakes. All depends, but it's going to be some type of breakfast for dinner. Friday, some type of pasta and a salad. And then Saturday, uh, we're going to eat out. That's our normal thing. Or we're going to have the New York Strip. Now, the eat out is up in the air because my daughter's home now and she really believes that we need to eat everything at home. So she keeps us together. So that's a, a an either or right there. Sunday, we're gonna have wings, rice, and roasted veggies. This is everything. I hope you can snag some ideas and inspiration. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking. Please share my video. Please comment. Uh, please subscribe if you're just moving past or going by. And with that, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.